It's almost time to say goodbye to Need for Speed Heat. But before we do that, we are jumping in and checking out some of the mods. The mods have gone crazy. I have just finished building my R33 Skyline GTR, and I can't believe they still haven't added it to the game. So the modders did. Modders are doing the work for them, apparently, and hopefully they continue in Unbound. This car might as well just actually get added to Unbound. They've done it for you. It all starts off with this. The R32? It's a 30, it's 32. Clearly this is a mod for Need for Speed, but honestly, these mods are getting so insane to the point where, well, I've got some pretty exciting ones to show you. But first off, we're gonna buy this, the BNR32. Get in there. Go on, hurry up. You can already see, Oh, what a noise. You can even see it's starting to look the part. It's, it's not quite lined up correctly. However, there's some pretty cool stuff to do with this mod. I, I, let me tell you. I'm one of those. Oh my God. I think the 33 is better than the 32. Please don't shoot me, but we're going to fix it first because clearly it is not correct in its current... I mean... Is it not? The bumper kind of looks right, but it, it just looks, oh wait. So we cannot convert this to the 34, the 32, or the 33. <laughs> That's super sick. Because the rear bumper is also, what? The rear bumper is also set. We just gotta, we gotta fix it. And here we have it. The 32 is looking so good. I am so excited to see this in the game. I don't understand why they haven't added it yet. This has been so many games this is missing. I know it's probably the least popular of the cars, but come on! On to the negatives. <laughs> it looks like the rear bumper may be falling off. Now, granted, the reason I'm using this version, there's actually three different versions of the mod. They said this is the most buggy version, and yes. Look, this one is super cool in that I get to keep the motion blur on. We will, we will try the other one as well, don't worry. We're going to put a little bit of stance on it. Oh my goodness, it drops low. <laughs> a little bit of camber bit of tra whoa 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 that's not that's the wrong way there <laughs> it's pretty damn cool because this is just the 32 you can actually just place on other pieces for the 32 so this side's good it's a little bit aggressive but this one small subtle adjustments really do fit still we can even put canards on the front they line up pretty damn well that is sick what if the hoods line up oh my goodness we can do the huds too? Whoa, hang on, that's too far. <laughs> How about some headlight changes too? Man, that is so freaking cool. You know what we gotta do now? We gotta find the forged RB26. Get that boy in there. We need more power. We need to swap out these baby parts for ultimate plus. <laughs> we are of course using Unite, which means, ooh, the drag kit. Honestly, I find it pretty mental. Look at the stats. This is without the kit installed. And of course we're gonna do it because then we all tens, baby. <laughs> Let's go full raw, baby. Let's get it. This drag kit just makes cars way too fast. <laughs> oh my God. This is why I wanted motion blur on because Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got the drag kit. We got the Unite handling, which makes it a little bit spicier. We got speed and power. We got the R33 GTR ready to mince up this town. Like, it's absolutely nothing. Holy crap. Motion blur, baby. 200% on the the motion, the camera shake. Any less than you, a puny ba baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're right, baby. <laughs> so the motion blur is kind of glitchy on the front there, but the fact that I can actually use it and it's not just all blurry is pretty damn cool. Super happy about that. That's actually a big change from previously. Previously with these mods, you generally had to turn the, the motion blur off. It's a little bit frustrating because it's someone that really likes the motion blur. It, it just, this, it takes something away all the time. I've noticed the shadows are also being a little bit weird. That's interesting. Now, another thing that I can say I have installed is pretty damn cool. We've done this before. We've done a first person mod. However, this one, well, it straight up replaces one of the current cameras. My stick is slightly backwards, and so I'm going to have to push it forwards to... S right. <laughs> but as you can see, it's got a first person camera that you can literally just switch between. That is pretty damn cool. And it looks really good. So, oh, 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 oh my god, that is way too fast. The FOV changes and everything now is not locked like it was previously. The lighting is just all over the place. What? I'm going to be blind. Genuinely, this is why we need the motion blur. This is why we need the camera shake. It really just adds 
to the whole the whole experience. It makes you feel like you're going faster. We're going 200, but it doesn't really feel like it until oh, we're doing that. Now that feels like 200. It's a feature game. I need to feel the speed. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. That's it. It is broken, so we will switch to the other one. Hopefully, it's fixed. Here we go. Is it fixed? There we go. The lights now properly line up. So that's one advantage of this version. I'm sure they can fix it. If you see this video, I just want to say amazing work with the mod. It's genuinely such a cool thing. And it, I can't tell the difference. I know the fenders don't quite line up. There's like a little bit of a difference between them. But to be honest with you, I, I, it really doesn't bother me that much. We've got the 33. Right. <laughs> Why does it look so goofy? Goofy ass uh, skyline. <laughs> Only a mother could love that skyline. What the frick? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, okay? I still love you. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to put this kit on. It's slightly wider at the rear, but I genuinely think it might even fit it a little bit nicer. So we're going wide body 33. I know, ignore the gap. It's, uh, it's a mod. Uh, it comes some slack. Let's get it then. Let's make the 33 great we've already done it it's already great it's already fantastic so beautiful 33 34 the, the best boys the best boys have arrived now i've kept the motion blur on because i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know if it's actually that bad what a large move big bow coming through so this is what the motion blur kind of does it does this weird effect on the car clearly the, it's motion blur on the car parts itself it's just the car almost wants to get rid of the fact that it's got a new bumper attached it's trying to bin it. But to be honest, this is world better than it has been previously before. I feel like the whole thing just properly blurred. This isn't that bad. There's the motion blur, now off. The game instantly looks a little bit funky, if you know what I mean. It, it, it's too sharp. The, there should be some blurness going on. And with the camera shake, I don't know. It just instantly looks like it's running at lower settings. I don't know if you guys <laughs> noticed that, but... Mate, this handling, I don't, I, I like it. It's definitely a million times better, but it's so weird at the same time. No problem though. I have also just realized as well, why one of my cameras is broken. So the, the, the cockpit view mod, if you use it with the stance mod, which I have now lowered this thing to oblivion, it basically just despawns the car. Remember that glitch that we had? <laughs> Where on the unbound trailer, the guy was just <laughs> floating, flying through the sky. That's, that's this, it's the same issue. Because the camera, Huh? It's so low, it's just gone. You know what? Let's remove the car because otherwise you're going to see through it. <laughs> just get rid of it. We're having a big debate over on Twitter about whether or not you really like the motion blur. So motion blur in this game is, well, it seems like it's more than it's going to be in Need for Speed Unbound. A lot of people, are, some people don't like the motion blur, some people don't like camera shape. There's a big debate on the whole thing. Sorry. A lot of people, I think it's more sim oriented. People tend to turn off motion blur almost completely and i understand that a little bit why are you going the wrong way? as an arcade racing game i feel like it just that you cannot have a proper sense of speed without camera shake and motion blur those two things are so so important excuse me big boy passing through like you nothing you don't exist and then we're gonna do it we're gonna do it here we go oh, oh come on don't reset i was doing i think to be honest I might feel a little bit more sick with just the camera shake on. If there was motion blur, it almost softens it. I don't know if you feel the same. Either way, I've absolutely smashed this race. Get in last second place! <laughs> Enough for Binneth, you go. Hatsman put on a show. And he absolutely did. He decimated the competition. Incredible, incredible. I'm actually going to put that back on. It needs to... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things about the new handling mod in general is when you set off, you can, like lose traction pretty quickly which is just so awesome <laughs> it's so good to lose traction i love drifting into walls i don't know about you <laughs> oh my god the blur's got worse <laughs> maybe i'm just going so fast give me a skip baby get ready copper <laughs> are you actually not gonna now there you go now i've got a pursuit after me incredible incredible scenes as i said there's some awesome mods that i'm seeing pop up for this game and also the other need for speed there seems to get so many mods but i i don't know you guys you guys seem to be about the same payback is a uh, a game that's for sure but of course if you want to see more mods on need for speed you already know what to do smash that like button subscribe if you are new and if you do well i've got this one here for you it's pretty good as well it's as good as a 33 i keep saying 30 i keep getting 
It's 33. All right, smash like a beast.